30 seconds. Tom Clancy, one of the best-selling authors on the planet, died on Tuesday night at a hospital in Baltimore after a brief illness. He first became famous in 1985 with the publication of The Hunt for Red October, which really spawned an entire genre of conservative military pot boilers with details that really made you feel like you were in the middle of that submarine. Clancy was born in Baltimore. He was an insurance salesman, but he always harbored dreams of being a writer. He wrote his first book, The Hunt for Red October, and the Naval Institute Press only paid $5,000 for the manuscript. They managed to get a copy of the book into the hands of a friend of Nancy Reagan. Pretty soon it was passed along to President Reagan, who read it and said that he couldn't put it down. So within days it was a bestseller. Mr. Clancy's books seemed destined for Hollywood from the start. Jack Ryan, who is the indelible character that Mr. Clancy took through many of his novels, was played by Harrison Ford, Alec Baldwin, Ben Affleck, and Jack Ryan will reappear Christmas Day in a new film that focuses on Jack Ryan's life before the CIA. The critics were incredibly favorable from the very beginning. His novel, Red Storm Rising, was reviewed in the New York Times, and a critic said that it was the verbal equivalent of a high-tech video game. And later, Mr. Clancy would indeed sell many of his books to become video games. His video games were actually so real to life that the military licensed them so that they could use them to train troops in similar procedures. When Mr. Clancy's first book was published, it was full of so much military knowledge that even members of the military suspected that he had access to classified information, which he did not. He was just a military nerd. He had been reading up on uh, military procedures since he was a kid, and he often said to interviewers that he just made stuff up and sometimes it actually turned out to be true.